let's just jump right into this video the wig that i'm installing today it is from Ulyssa hair and this is pretty much that everything that comes in the package so you have your hd wig cap they even gave me some lashes a melting band and a scarf headband this is what the wig looks like straight out the box she is nicely curled are you seeing the hairline though hairline is tweezed to perfection bleached to perfection i don't have to do anything to it it is hd lace now i'm going to go ahead and cut that lace off in the back because not using that and i'm not using the combs on the side i never do let me know what you guys think about the combs on the side do you use them anyways i have the hd wig cap on already so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some foundation to this cap just so it can match my skin tone more and i'm gonna go ahead and pop that wig onto my head she is nicely curled but we're gonna brush these curls out later i love the hairline on this wig However, I like to customize my hairline so it looks more natural and not going straight across because I have a widow's peak. So I'm going to take out these two little pieces and just gently rip them out. I know it didn't look like I do it gently, but do you see the difference? Huge difference, okay? It looks much better. That's what I think, at least. Let's move on to my favorite step. And no, it's really not my favorite step, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut away the extra lace on the sides, right by the ear. And I'm also gonna be pulling out some more hair. Now, as you can see, I'm just pulling out just a little bit of the hair, just again, to customize the hairline to my liking. You don't have to do this, but I think it's, it looks great. Now I'm gonna go in with the My Sticky Little Secrets Skin Protector. I always apply this before I apply the glue. This is gonna enhance the glue performance and now I'm gonna go in with My Sticky Little Secret Lace Glue and I'm going to apply this along my forehead area and I'm gonna spread that out like butter. Do you see how quickly the glue dries? It dries super, super quickly. And then I'm gonna go in with a second layer. Now you can do up to two to three layers. I did about two layers for this video and honestly i filmed this video actually a week ago and i still have this wig on it's still on my head right now and you guys this lace product is by me if you don't already know this is my product and i will link everything in the description bar down below now that the glue is dry i'm gonna go ahead and pull that lace down and it's already looking good i haven't even cut the lace off but it's already looking good and i'm going in with the blow dryer on the cool setting so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some lace to the side as well and i'm I'm not applying lace to the side. I mean, I'm applying lace glue to the side as well. And I'm going to do the same thing I did for the forehead area. I'm going to apply two layers and wait for it to dry clear. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull down that lace and just melt it down into the glue. So I'm going to melt it down using the cool air to do so. Honestly, I'm really obsessed with how good this hairline looks on this wig. This wig is going to be one of my go-to wigs this spring, summer. I love chocolate brown hair, like love. Next to Caramel Blonde, chocolate brown is probably one of my favorite. I know you guys see me with dark hair a lot, but this is like literally one of my go-to colors and caramel brown, which I haven't done in a while. I need to do one. But anyways, I had my melting band on and I like to do the double melt method. So I apply the melting band for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut away that extra lace. And I use cuticle scissors to do this. I know some people prefer to use a big scissors or the eyebrow razor. I personally prefer to use a small scissors because I just feel like it just, I don't know, it's just easier for me to do. So I personally prefer that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more lace glue to the edges because some of the edges did not get the lace glue. So I'm just applying a little as you can see with the rat tail comb and just press that down into the skin like press it down and I go in and I just wipe away any excess glue now I'm gonna be taking the melting spray the melting spray is gonna make sure that your wig looks super flawless the lace is gonna be melted down to perfection the lace is gonna be like what lace never heard of her she does not exist because we don't want to see the lace okay we don't want to see it now I'm going to do the last and final melt. I'm going to apply my melting band. I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to remove. I'm going to go in with some hairspray. Um, what brand is this? I don't remember. I know the brand is on the tip of my tongue, but I will put it in the description bar down below. So a Fantasia, is that what it's called? I think. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this onto my hair and I'm going to go in with the hot comb and press it down. Now I was originally going to do a center part, but then I decided to do a side part because you guys know how much I love a side part and I just feel like this chocolate brown, it just needed some side part action okay so that's why i did a side part and then i'm gonna go ahead again i use this to flatten it down 
I don't always love using a hair wax. Girl, like, look at her. Makeup is all done. I don't always like using the hair wax because I feel like sometimes it leaves the hair having this greasy, like, feeling and making the hair feeling kind of heavy. So I personally prefer to use the hairspray. But yeah, guys, if you want to see a makeup um, tutorial, please comment down below and let me know and I will definitely do one for you because I was feeling my makeup and I have changed my foundation routine up a bit so I'd love to share it with you guys it's been a while since I've done any makeup style video and let me know if there's any other videos you want to see because as much as I enjoy doing hair videos I do want to create more content and other contents on this channel as well so please drop me some ideas but yeah look at her I am feeling this entire hair I didn't curl it all I did was brush the curls out because the hair was already already nicely curled and these curls actually last me for so long but yeah this is pretty much the completed look i'm so here for this hair color i'm so here for this hair this is the body wave texture by the way so all the hair info will be listed in the description bar down below i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you learned something from it and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching bye